633, a brand new business here in Tucson was broken into just weeks after moving into the space. And with thousands of dollars in damage this morning, the owner is really just trying to stay positive. Brooke Chow is standing by for us live outside of DeLuna Candles. Brooke, what can you tell us? Jose and Claire, I can tell you that the morning of Wednesday, June 21st, DeLuna Candles looked a lot different. The ground was covered in glass. You could still see a little bit of pieces here right now. And this window on this door was also broken. Again, glass still on the doormat. Take a look. When I came in, this window right here was broken. It was shattered. Walking over glass through a broken door. That's how owner Maria started her work day on the morning of June 21st. These two shelves were completely wiped. Sunglasses, jewelry, candles, cash, and personal items all gone in one night, hoping to capture the crime, but no security cameras were rolling. I had only been open for about a week and a half, two weeks, and so I hadn't gotten that installed yet. But now... We, we have everything... Over 400 items and $10,000 worth of stolen merchandise set back the new business owner. It took a lot of work to open my own store, a lot of work. And so we were so excited to finally have it and be here. And then it just thinking about somebody just coming and taking it from us in one night, it was I think that's what broke me. But Maria says she's not alone with the smash and grab break-ins. More than five businesses tell me that this has happened to them. Trying to stay positive and restart her family business off on the right foot, Maria says the community can help by just coming in and saying hi and talking to us. And that's all we're really asking for. Now, since none of those cameras were rolling on the insurance claims are going to have to come out of her damages out of pocket. And you can see the door right here. Lots of still just broken paint and these wood chips everywhere. But again, the window is now fixed and she's really just looking to rebuild at this point. Now, I reached out to the Tucson Police Department about this case. They tell me it's still pretty active, but they want to encourage anybody that has any information to call 88 crime. For now, reporting near Midtown on Campbell and Fort Lowell, Brooke Chow, KGUN 9 on your side. Brooke, thank you. Let's